In this video, we are going to understand how do you compute capital gains in respect of depreciable assets. Now, in the earlier videos, you understood that depreciable asset follow the concept of block of assets. So where, you know, various assets, let's say P1, P2, P3 are combined. Right? So how do you calculate depreciation if any one of these assets were to be sold? Let's see. So let us say, suppose you acquired one plant and machinery for 1 lakh in year 1, 2 lakh in year 2, 3 lakh in year 3. So the sum was 1 lakh in year 1. You claimed depreciation rate is say 10%. You claim depreciation of 10% and you were left with 90,000 as the closing value. So you got this as the opening value. Let me kind of opening value acquired total depreciation closing so I got a total value of 2,90,000 I claimed depreciation of 29,000 at 10% so I was left with 261 this 261 became the opening WDV 3 lakh got added so I had 5,61,000 as the value and now comes the twist I sold Say the first asset which I had acquired and the value of sales, let us say, was 6 lakh. How do I compute capital gain in this case? Let me go back to the theory. Capital gains on asset forming part of block of asset on which depreciation has been allowed is computed as under and is always a short term capital gains. Now there could be two situations, you know. So what happened here was I had a written down value of 5,61,000. As long as my sales consideration is less than 5,61,000, suppose the sale consideration, let's take two cases, sale consideration is let's say 300,000. If my sale consideration is 3 lakh, what I will do is, I will take this 5,61,000 value, I will reduce 3 lakh from this, balance is 2,61,000, so this will be my written down value on which going forward I will claim depreciation. So there will be no capital gain, nothing. I claim depreciation on the basis of this value. Now what happens is the problem comes in when suppose I sell any of these assets for a value which is greater than 5,61,000. So I sold it for 6 lakh. In that case what happens is I put down my written down value. I reduce the sales consideration from here and whatever is the difference which is 39,000 in my case is chargeable to short term capital gains. So this is the first case which I have considered. Sale consideration exceeds written down value. So my sale consideration of 6 lakh is more than the written down value of 5,61,000. So what do I do? Capital gains is computed as sales consideration, which is 6 lakh, less the following. Opening written down value of the block, which in my case was 2,61,000.
let's see what was the opening written down value it was 2,61,000 add actual cost of asset acquired during the previous year in that block which was 3 lakh and cost of transfer I don't know anything about it so I reduced this plus this which is 5,61,000 from the sale consideration the balance is chargeable as short term capital gain and the second condition is if the entire block of assets is transferred very interesting let's say I sold all these three plant and machinery for rupees 8 lakh now in that case my sale consideration is 8 lakh I reduce and my cost of acquisition or the written down value is 561,000 let me go back so what do I do I take the sale consideration which is 8 lakh in my case less opening WDV opening WDV again 261 actual cost of assets acquired during the previous year which is 3 lakh cost of transfer I don't know so whatever is the difference which is 2 lakh 39,000 in this case is a short term capital gain now a situation could have arisen where this value instead of 8 lakh was say 5 lakh then in that case basically what would happen I have sold it for 5 lakh while my cost of acquisition that I have to reduce is 5 lakh 61,000 and therefore there is a loss of 61,000 this loss will be short term capital loss now there is one significant difference which is there in these two cases here what happened was that the entire block of asset was sold but here it may be that the entire block of asset is not sold so in the example that I took we had three plant and machinery and I said only one was sold now what happens if in year, next year I sell two or I sell three then whatever consideration I get out of selling of these is in any case going to be a short term capital gain there will be no depreciation which is going to be allowed on the value of these two plant and machinery and whenever I sell it whatever I get is chargeable to short term capital gain 